Hey everyone, Josh Miller here with Josh Miller Ventures. And I'm excited today to tell you all about my wearable photo collection and to give you some examples for how you can integrate them into your life as art installations, whether you are getting ready to get on Zoom, go on a date to a gala, a walk in the park, or back to work. So first, what are wearable photos? For over a decade, I've been combining photography with running and cycling as my way to explore the world. And I've launched a collection of six wearable photos that feature images from Louisville and Southern Indiana, primarily taken throughout the pandemic. So these are 50 by 50 inch chiffon prints. This one is called Pearls of Dew. It was taken in Waterfront Park and features a lot of those beautiful droplets of water on one of the plants. And they're designed for you to wear them however you can imagine and think of. So whether that's as a scarf, whether it's as a kind of obi belt, whether you wear it crossbody, there are so many different ways to wear them. And that's what I'm gonna demonstrate for you today. So we're going to start with this scarf that I have on. It's called Traversing Reflections. And this one was taken on one of the bridges crossing over to Indiana. So you're seeing the bridge at sunrise with its reflection in the pool of rainwater. So one of the great things about wearable photos is that with four different corners of different colors, textures, light, there are all different ways that you can integrate them and what you can feature based on what outfit you're wearing. So I often will just take it fold it into a triangle with the long end going down if you wanna wear it as a scarf. And then there's a few ways you can put it on. You can just take one end around then take the other end around. Remember that chiffon is a pretty sleek material, kind of like a silk. So if you're not gonna tie a knot in the back, you'll probably wanna loop it through once or twice just so that it can help it to stay on. So I loop it, I'll loop it through. You can kind of play with which facet you wanna feature all of these different deep and bright shades of blue, which are wonderful. So that's one way that you can put it on. You can leave the ends hanging down longer or kind of asymmetrical if you want, which is great. And then if you want, which is how I wore it this morning, I went for a walk on the bridge and I didn't want it to run away. You can tie a knot in the back and you can do that before you even put it on if you want, depending on how long you wanna wear it, pop it over. And I actually often, if I tie a knot, I'll leave the ends hanging down in the back because it gives you good texture back there. But then you can play around with which facets of it you want to feature, which is great. So that's one way that you can wear it, kind of as that long triangle. And you can play around with how long, how short you want it to be. Another example of that is you can lead, keep that triangle near the front, but pull it all the way up to your neck, pull the ends around. And then you can knot that, tie that, tie that around. And you can play with how tight you want it, but this works really well. If you wanna throw one of these on with a jacket or a blazer and kind of have this as a statement piece, either with a button up or a blazer or in place of. So I'll actually show you what it looks like if, for example, you get a text and you were supposed to be on Zoom five minutes ago and you need to throw something on, throw on your wearable photo, throw on a jacket, you're good to go. And it looks great. So this is a navy blazer, but you can wear it with black because of all of the different colors in here. Got some of the pops of yellow, really great. Another example of how you can wear it with a blazer, and I'm gonna show you this one with this print, it's called Rotating Horizons, which is a long exposure as the camera was in motion. So you can do the looser wrap like we talked about and just tuck those ends under and in into your blazer. So this is another great way to add detail add your own spin on professional attire and be ready for your meeting. So you just have to play around with what are the colors you wanna feature. These are all the movements of the different lights from the city, from the bridge, and just choose how you want that, how you want that to look. But it looks really clean, really beautiful. Different way to install it on yourself, if you will. 
So we'll take the blades of rack off. We're gonna use the same print, Rotating Horizons. I like to wear this one often with the lights leading. There's two different corners with lots of beautiful different colored lights. So now we're gonna do it as kind of an obi belt that hangs down. So you can do the same triangular pattern with the points going down, often in the front or the side. And depending on your body, it may not come loop back all the way back around. You may tie it in the back, but either way, you've got a lot of different colors and ways that you can incorporate it and use it. So another way that you can do it is kind of to wrap it around. This is how I did it with Don G yesterday on wave three. Then loop it this way, you see it rotating. You can see you're getting some muted areas and some bright areas. And you can really play and change that based on how much of a pop you want or how much you want it to vary. So what I do is you've got the loop, you've got these two ends and I'll put one through, tie them together. And then you kind of play around with which facets you want to feature. You may want to loosen or tighten one of the areas so that it kind of evens out. But it gives you some really interesting and fun texture that you can work with. This is also one that you can pair with a blazer. You could wear it inside of a button up. You could have the collar of the button up on the inside popping out. So this is also a great option if you just wanna put it in place of a statement necklace or in place of having to wear a collar at all. So going back to our triangle for a minute, love that the city is running through the middle of that. You can take the triangle, tie the alternating ends, this is just a simple way to wear it. Let it hang down. You've got a great amount of color and it adds just a lot of texture. You can throw it on with a t-shirt with a tank top, leggings, all different kinds of things. Another way to wear, wear it that's really interesting is wear it diagonally. So it hits right above the knee for me. I'm five seven, um, but this beautiful draping gives you a lot of texture on the front and the back. Just a way to switch it up for the summer. For the fall, you can throw a blazer on over it if you want. So there's tons of different ways to be able to wear it. So we'll switch it up. We're going to go to Oh the Falls. So this is a long exposure image taken on the riverbank in southern Indiana. Beautiful long exposure of the trees, the lights, looking down towards the falls of the Ohio. So this one, and I've done this with a few of them, you take adjacent at corners, tie those together. One option is you just put it over and you let the whole thing hang down. So for me, it goes, ends about three to four inches above my ankles. You can just kind of play around with it, but it's, Got beautiful movement, just a great way to switch it up and put it over some various um, solids or different things. You can also do add an obi belt. So this is a leather obi belt. I've done this before with nothing underneath, um, depending on the print. You may wanna have a little something, but um, some of them don't show all the way through. It is a pretty translucent fabric though. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but this is one way you can do it. You can also do a belt with an, another accompanying scarf if you wanna do that as well, um, or another wearable photo. So that's an option. You can also then put your arm through and wear it diagonally. So I really love the draping that this can give and that movement reminds me very much of you know, statues of Greek gods or thinking about different types of togas, things like that. So that hangs down really long, but it's really beautiful as well. The added layer that you can do 
whether or not you have two of the same image or two that uh, can be paired together is that you can wear them alternating crossbody. So tie, I'm, this one is shifting opportunity. So this is slightly different, but a paired image. And I'm just gonna put it on going the alternate direction. So this is another one where you could wear, you know, a new bodysuit or a tank top underneath, something of that nature, just some solid blacks. And it creates a really beautiful outfit with this draping. Of course, again, if you want to, you can then also kind of just have to play around to get it to lay how you want, but you can also pair, pair an OB belt with it. And the movement, of course, when you go outside is really, really wonderful. And a few final options for how you can integrate these based on how you wanna use them and where you're planning to go is that you can integrate it kind of as a wrap. So maybe you just have something, little black dress, some outfit you just wanna throw it over, something that's got those wonderful nude and natural tones. You can do it that way. You can go back to our triangle, right? And depending on what you wanna feature, this has got all of those subtle trees. This side has those long exposure lights. You can have the triangle hang down your back and loop it over the front. So you could just leave it like this, good to go. You can tie it around the back. You kind of just want to have almost like some cap sleeves on the ends. And then you can also loop it like that. So this is another one where you could loop it and then throw a blazer on top or a jacket and tuck it in and it'll immediately transform what that looks like. And depending on which edge you lead with, We'll try to lead with the lights. You're gonna get more or less of those bright tones and that variation like you can see there. So there's so many different ways to incorporate these wearable photos into your life. I know that that can feel a little overwhelming at times, especially with all that we've had going on. And I'll show you this, what this one looks like as the OB belt as well. Um, so feel free to reach out. You can message me at Josh Miller Ventures on Instagram. You can go to joshmiller.ventures, my website. You can see a lookbook. You can access the shop to be able to purchase wearable photos. So this gives you those interesting tones, a great way to dress it up. So, so many different ways that you can explore. And I can't wait to see how you all incorporate wearable photos into your lives as you are going back out into the world and getting to socialize and make new memories. So like I said, connect at joshmiller.ventures is my email, feel free to reach out. If you have ideas or interesting ways that you've worn them and wanna share that, tag me at Josh Miller Ventures on Instagram and Facebook, go to the website, joshmiller.ventures and let me know how you are incorporating wearable photos. If you are a retailer interested in wholesale pricing or a company or a conference who wants to give wearable photos as a gift to VIPs or making them available, maybe you wanna explore an exclusive uh, image that you can feature that's really special, feel free to reach out and let me know. I'd love to work with you. So can't wait to see how you all incorporate these. Thank you all for tuning in and have a great day.